So in my previous video talking about the fake uh, vaccine administration by this guy right here, this was one of the nurses that at El, Pas at El Paso Medical Hospital that had supposedly received uh, the, the Pfizer vaccine for COVID-19. And of course, the video that was showed plainly showed <clears throat> that the nurse did not receive the vaccine. Of course, it got a lot of uh, front page on social media. People were like, you know, this is fake. They were literally they're faking giving people the vaccine. Now, of course, there were numerous other individuals that were there. There were uh, four other nurses besides this person right here. As you can see, uh, there were other individuals who also supposedly had gotten the uh, the vaccine. Well, it turns out nobody got it. Right? As they went on to say, uh, News 4 goes on to reports. It says, you see the nurse is uh, is being prepped for the vaccine, but the syringe appears to be empty and the plunger has already been depressed, right? So that was shown in the previous video. And then it says, once the needle appears to be in the arm, it says the person giving the vaccine does not appear to, of course, uh, push the plunger down. It says, it's unclear if the vaccine, uh, if the nurse was vaccinated and why the syringe, of course, was not depressed. So then, of course, it goes on to say, it turns out five nurses at El Paso, all the five were there that were making a show of receiving the vaccine, did not receive the vaccine. It says Tuesday at the Medical University Center. It says CBS4 noticed the discrepancy when the nurse, when the second nurse, right, this guy right here, right, it says that they realized. So they went back, they looked at the footage and they were like, hey, this one didn't get the vaccine. And so they, you know, basically made the rounds on social media. And then they're like, you know what? Let's look at the rest of the footage. And it turned out nobody got the vaccine. And it's like when you see people doing <laughs> these kind of antics, it does absolutely nothing to spur any sort of confidence that this is completely safe. There's nothing to see here. Who's next in line? And it's like if you believe, I mean, again, originally the White House was also supposed to get the vaccine. And then, like last minute, like last minute, they said, you know what? We're going to hold off on everybody at the White House staff getting the vaccine. We're going to hold off. Even the Pfizer CEO didn't get it. And he was just like, you know, I, I don't, I'm going to wait my turn. I don't want to cut in line. There's more important people who should get the vaccine. <laughs> and it's like, realistically speaking, if this disease, if this disease was as deadly as they want people to believe. Don't you imagine that the wealthy and the powerful would be the first ones to make sure that they got the vaccine so that they wouldn't get sick? Do you imagine that they would let like the, the plebs have access first to the vaccine? I mean, if stuff like this doesn't like wake people up to realize that perhaps something is going on, Perhaps all is not as accurate as the mainstream media would like me to believe. I really don't know what to tell you.